You know, isn't it funny? There's a spot in New York that looks exactly like this. But it can't be. Because I'm supposed to be in Florida right now. Right? I'm supposed to be in 70, 80 degree weather. Sun sets at 5. Nice Airbnb. You know, hyped about tomorrow. Going to Disney World. <laughs> but here I am in New York. Because I'm a fucking coward. I'm a fucking coward. Oh, and I fought. I fought not to be. I fought not to be. I, I, uh... Today was supposed to be the flight to Florida to start my Disney, a week in Disney World with my friends. Three of the closest friends I got. Three, three friends I would love nothing to spend a week with. Three friends I would gladly die for. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. I really, truly do. I'm, I would literally die for them. That's how much I love and care about them. But... Apparently, that doesn't mean getting on a fucking airplane for them. <sighs> Fuck. I wouldn't be very hard on myself in this one. Because right now, I'm hating on myself so much. Alright, so last night, I had a panic attack. Wasn't crazy about going on an airplane. Didn't want to get COVID. Didn't want the air pressure fucking up my teeth, even though it's highly unlikely. Unless you have, like serious issues right which I don't as far as I know <laughs> didn't want the airplane crashing <laughs> even though it wasn't going to you know full blown panic attack begging them offering them money large amount of money too come on let's drive come on do we really have to fly Right? I really wanted to go on this trip. I really, truly, in my heart, wanted to go. And I almost quit in that moment. And I said, you know what? Let me call my therapist. I talked to her, my therapist. And I calmed down. I was like, okay, fuck it. We're going. We're going. 3.15 in the morning comes. That's when we're supposed to leave. I wake up. Bags packed. Get in my friend's car. We go drive to pick up his girlfriend. Our other friend uh, is driving. Right? We pick her up. We get to the airport. They drop us off. I'm in a crowd. I am waking the fuck out. My right hand is shaking. I'm struggling. <coughs> I'm struggling to breathe through the mask. I feel like I want to pass out. Full blown panic attack. But I held I held it cool. I check in my bags, whatever the fuck that means. I mean I had one carry on bag, one bag, which is by the way, it's now in Florida. Bag full of my shorts, my t shirts and my underwear, plus my toothbrush and everything. I just had to go buy a new toothbrush. I just had to order new underwear and everything online. Check that shit in. Go through the security. Take off my shoes. Get a fucking pat down. Right? Worst part's over. I am shaking like a leaf. I am ready to pass the fuck out. Right? I'm thinking, okay, worst part's over. All we got to do now, let them get something to eat. I ain't taking my fucking mask off in this fucking place. Right? We go towards the gate or terminal, whatever the fuck it's called. You know, the waiting room where you sit before they board. I see the fucking plane out the window and I just fucking lose it. I'm just like, no, no, no. Right? Right? But I sit down. I sit down for a bit. I'm like, okay, all right. And I'm shaking. I feel like I'm going to throw up. 
I feel like I'm going to shit, piss, and throw up all at the fucking same time. So I was like, all right, let me get up. Let me use the bathroom. Couldn't, couldn't do anything. Right? Just shaking, just dry heaving. Let me throw up. Please, just let me throw up to get the anxiety out of me. Right? I walk out of the bathroom... And I say, let me go for a stroll. Let me, let me, let me just go for a stroll. I'll come back, sit down, get on the fucking plane. I go for my little stroll. I come back. I, I couldn't bring myself to, to, to walk towards where my, where my two friends are. My friend Anthony and his girlfriend. And I'm telling myself, don't do it for yourself. Do it for them. You're going, you're going to keep an eye on them. You're going to protect them. Not that they need it, but... You're doing this for them. I couldn't do it. They're begging me. Please, out, please. I just... I, I Like, every fucking foot towards it. I, I couldn't do it. My heart's racing. I still feel right now, inside, shaking. Even though I'm not shaking right now... Like my inside is 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 shaking. They're begging me. I go sit away from them. They're begging me. They're texting me. They're calling me. I'm on the phone with my therapist. She's trying to walk me through this. I just couldn't do it. And we have a third friend, a real close friend of mine, who was supposed to meet us there. And it was supposed to be me, my other friend, and Anthony and his girlfriend. And we were going to spend five days at Disney World. We were going to go, you know, on all the rides and all these things. And it's all paid, you know. All this was paid ahead of time. Not that fucking matters now, because that, all that money's totally wasted. You ain't getting a fucking penny of that back, nor do I even... Wanted, even if I could get it back. Yeah, no. I couldn't bring myself to do it. They're begging me. They're texting me. I wish I could read you the text. It broke my heart to tell them both no. It broke my fucking heart. And at this point, if they don't want to be my friend anymore, I, I, can I really blame them? Can I really fucking blame them to, for me to sit there, stand there in fear, shaking, and they're doing their best. They're doing their absolute best to try to get me on. And I can't see the fa past the fact that with COVID, I'm going to get COVID on this fucking thing. Or the air pressure is going to make all my fucking teeth explode somehow. Or we're going to fucking crash into the fucking water and we're all going to fucking die. I could not see or feel past that. It was overwhelming. All three of them I'd, I'd happily die for if need be. But like that's ever... Like I'd really do that because I can't even get get on a motherfucking airplane. So I just in this days I just walked walked away and I, I I went to the sky terminal. Uh, the sky sky terminal air uh, transit whatever, and I I got to Jamaica Station and I uh, bought a ticket and I got home. And, uh, I, I, I don't know, I don't know if they fucking hate my guts right now, I, I, whether they know it or not, I did them a huge favor, I deprived them of my company, I did you guys a huge favor, because now you don't gotta worry about me having a panic attack all week, now you can enjoy the trip without having to worry, and it's no money out of your, it's no money out of their pockets, you know, it's not like I owed them money or whatever. And even if I do, I'll pay it. I don't care. I don't, I, I don't care. Money's not going to... All the money in the world's not going to fix this. I 
I'm fucking exhausted. I haven't slept in almost 24 hours. I haven't eaten nothing in almost 24 hours. I am exhausted. I am tired. I am so ashamed of myself right now. I tried so fucking hard. I tried so fucking hard. I, 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 all I had to do was sit there, get up, walk through that gate, sit on the airplane, buckle my seatbelt, and that's it. And I couldn't do that one simple thing. There were so many fucking people there, too. Oh, my God. Like, I, I need to stay away from everybody for at least five days. It'd be a fucking miracle if I if if I don't get COVID. Even though I'm fully vaccinated and boosted and all that bullshit. It wasn't just COVID. It was it was just I the idea of getting on a fucking airplane. I've never been on an airplane and I don't think I'll go the rest of my life with ever getting on an airplane. But I can guarantee you, had we driven or had we sailed, you know, like you're going to fucking sail to Florida now at this time of year. Had we driven or had we taken a bus or a train, I would have done it. I know for a fact I would have done it. Driving to the airport this morning... For the briefest of moments throughout all my anticipation and my, and my anxiety, for the briefest of moments, I, I, I had a positive flashback of when I was a kid and I'd take a ride to Virginia, you know, once every year or so with the family, you know, to go see my grandparents who lived, you know, lived in Virginia. And for the briefest of moments, it felt like I was doing that again. And I was a little excited. Because I was with people I genuinely love and care for. Who I don't know if they feel the same way anymore. And can you blame me? And we were going on a trip. All that evaporated instantly once I saw the airport. I just couldn't do it. Mr. I'm a great pilot. I'm a fucking... I've, I've grew up playing flight simulators. There isn't a plane I can't fly. Yeah, you're right. There isn't a fucking plane I can't fly because I can't set foot in one. I can fly all of them virtually. Setting foot in an actual fucking plane? Yeah, no. I'm really ashamed of myself right now. I'm just being real with you. And right now I just want to sleep. I should probably get some food, save it for later. Get some rest. Because it's been almost 24 hours. And pray to God. In a few months time, if I'm lucky, my friends ever talk to me again. It's going to be a long fucking winter. And I have no one to blame but myself. Peace.